guys? Wes back with Auto Mafia Racing, and today we're bringing you another how-to video. Today, how to install fuel injectors in your 2015 to 2017 3.7 liter V6 Mustang. We're gonna be using the same car again for one of our last how-to videos, and we're gonna be installing some Mafia Thick 1000 CC injectors. Now this install video is the exact same no matter if you're putting in MU52s, LU47s, G302s, Thick 1000s, Thick 1650s, doesn't matter, whatever you want, it's gonna work the same way. Let's get started. What's up guys, Tommy from Little Mafia here. We're gonna do a quick unboxing of our Mafia Fick 1000s, just to show you what's in the package. Ooh. They are nice. As you can see, it comes with the O-rings already on it. We're going to grease these O-rings with a little bit of grease before we install these into the car. So we'll get started on that right now. Okay guys, now that the O-rings are greased, these are ready to go into the car. Next thing we're gonna do is disconnect the battery. So remove the cover, there's a 10 millimeter bolt on the ground side. I'm gonna loosen that up. And remove the ground side of the battery. Now we're gonna start disconnecting everything on the upper plenum so that we can remove that. I know it's kind of hard to see, but I'll show you. There's a release clip on here. What you're gonna do is you're gonna push it up and slide it over and it'll let you pop this off of the intake. I'll put that aside. Disconnect any lines and sensors. This safety clip, you're gonna push it up from the back, push it out. You can pop that off. Next, you want to grab like a molding or trim tool to help you remove everything. Next thing we're gonna do is loosen up the cold air intake tube. And pull that away from the throttle body. Then we're going to remove the eight millimeter bolt that holds the intake. We're gonna loosen the bottom one. Just move that out of the way. And then we're going to take out seven of these eight millimeter bolts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then with your trim tool, we're gonna to remove the harness from the back of the intake. You're now free to lift up the upper plenum and get that out of your way. One more Christmas tree. Got one. Now it's off. Now you can just set your intake aside somewhere. Now that your upper intake is off, that gives you access so that you could do either your spark plugs or we can start removing the lower so that we can get to the fuel system and everything else. All right, so now that we have the intake off, guys, we're gonna go ahead and we're going to remove the fuel rail by starting by unhooking the fuel hose. All right, the first thing you wanna do is remove the red safety clip by spreading either side and pushing it down. A lot of people try to take this black clip out 
there's no need to do it. As you can see, if you push down on a clip, it spreads it out and allows you to remove your fuel line. You can now take off these covers. It's your choice whether you want to put them back on or not. All they are is insulators. Once the covers are off and everything is out of your way, you can take a, a hook or a pick tool and unplug the safety latches on your injectors and just push in the tab and pull them out. Once all the injectors are unplugged, you take your eight millimeter and remove the four bolts that hold the fuel rail in. Once all the bolts are out, you can lift straight up on your fuel rail. Sometimes it's not that easy, so you can use a pry bar. Be careful what you're prying off of. Once the fuel rail is out, you're going to want to take this outside and dump it upside down because it's still holding a lot of fuel. Now, if you guys notice something, these are all really dirty, right? So we always clean these off, but also that one's empty, but that one's not. The O-ring got stuck in it. That one's good. Those all had their O-rings stuck in and that one still has the injector in. So what we basically do is we're going to take that hook again and we're going to pull all those out. And then we're gonna clean the whole lower intake and all the holes and everything off, just so that nothing is left. These are dirty. Yeah, that's what I said earlier. <laughs> Caked with sand. Yeah. Welcome to Florida life. Okay, you're going to remove the retainment clips from your injectors. Now, you can see they only come off one way. You can pull the injectors out of the fuel rail now. Everything on this car is stuck. It really is. Um, on, we still got fuel in the fuel rail. Wait. Make sure you pull those O-rings out if they didn't come out with the injectors, guys. Otherwise, you will not be happy. Now that all of the injectors are out, we can start greasing the O-rings on our FIC 1000s and installing them into the fuel rail. Now that all the factory OEM injectors are out of the fuel rail, we can start installing our FIC 1000s. You're going to put the blue O-ring side down. Just push it into the fuel rail. Now that the injectors are in, 
We can clean the lower plenum around the injector bung and then install the fuel rail back into the lower plenum. Okay guys, what I like to do before I put the fuel rail back in, take a little bit of acetone and clean off the lower plenum. And now we can reinstall our fuel rail. Make sure all of the injectors line up. You're going to want to tighten these in a cross pattern. Now we can plug our injectors back in. Something to note guys, these injectors that we're using are our Mafia spec FIC 1000 fuel injectors. They are a taller height. They are a mid-size injector, the same height as the ME52s. As you can see, they sink down in perfectly with absolutely no issues. Um, it's really easy. You just don't reuse the, the metal keepers. It's the only thing you do and you sink them down in, they work just fine. I was just getting all of the in injector plugs back on and clicking them down so they're locked in. Now at this point you can put your covers back on, you can leave them off. I usually leave them off because they get dried out and they'll leave a whole bunch of residue on top of your intake. But it's up to you whether or not you want to reinstall them. and we can reinstall our safety clip. Now once we've got all that done, we can go ahead and start reinstalling the upper intake. Okay, again guys, you don't have to do this. It's just something I like to do. But clean off the gasket side of the upper intake. You can use brake clean or acetone. To make sure everything's nice and clean. You're gonna go ahead and re-grease your gasket. You don't have to load this stuff on, just gotta make it a little shiny. Now we can go reinstall our intake. Okay guys, you'll notice there are alignment tabs on the upper intake. You wanna make sure those are lined up before you start tightening everything down. You'll see the alignment holes in the lower. You're just gonna match everything up. And get all of your bolts started by hand. Once they're all started, you can make sure they're snug and then you can torque them down to 89 inch pounds. Okay guys, 89 inch pounds. And you're gonna start in the center and work your way out.
once all the bolts are torqued down, you can reinstall your harness and start plugging everything back in. Don't forget to plug in your throttle body. All right guys, now that the intake is all bolted back up, it's time to go ahead and reattach your ground side to your battery, tighten it up, and then we're done. So that is how you reinstall that intake and that concludes our video on how to install your fuel injectors, prep them and everything so you can get some new injectors on your car to run that E85 or prepare for boost. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure you like, share and subscribe. Comment down below if you need anything else or if you want a set of those injectors and we'll get you hooked up. We'll see you next time.